on June 10th, 2021, only a couple of days ago, there was a solar eclipse, a partial solar eclipse over Montreal and different parts of Eastern Canada. Uh, and I saw it. It was around 5.30 in the morning. And at that time, there were a few people in Montreal that were getting up to uh, watch the solar eclipse. Um, I decided to go to Parc Jeanne-Mance where I knew there would be a clear view of the sun because since it's early in the morning, the sun wasn't high in the sky. It was actually kind of low, so hidden by most of the cityscape if I were to remain downtown. So I went to Parc Jeanne-Mance. I arrived there around 5.30, just before the peak of the eclipse, which is like the, the moment when the sun is most blocked by the moon. And that was at 5.39 a.m. So I just I arrived just before that. Um, and, um, well, I couldn't see anything because by the with the naked eye you can only see this as you can see it looks like normal like you cannot see that this is a partial eclipse where the moon is hiding like 70 80 90 percent of the sun um with sunglasses it's literally the same just a bit dimmer <laughs> uh so yeah you can't see the eclipse without special solar eclipse glasses and I didn't have those. I didn't have special solar eclipse glasses because I just learned about the eclipse a couple of days before and I didn't buy any glasses. Yes, it's not like I'm studying physics or very interested in astronomy. I should have known that there would be a partial solar eclipse over Montreal, but I didn't. Anyway, still got up, still went to Parc jeanne at 5.30 and there I decided to ask someone to borrow the glasses for a couple of seconds just so that I, I'm not disturbing them for too long and, 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 and compromising their, their great experience of a so, uh, solar eclipse by me just being like, wow, that's so great. I'm so glad I've got these glasses. And the guy's like, uh, can I ha have them back? I used them for just a couple of seconds, as I said, and it's, it was amazing. Um, I couldn't film anything uh, because again, I didn't want to take too much of their time, but basically it looked like this, if I can fit a picture of the eclipse that was taken by NASA, um, uh, so much more professionally than, than the rest of my vlog. But yeah, that's a partial eclipse. It was literally almost a full eclipse. Uh, and that's what you could see uh, with the, the solar eclipse glasses, which is total darkness, except for a very thin uh, sun croissant. And I can say croissant because I'm French, so I've got that privilege. And uh, and it's the best way to describe the what you could see of the sun. It's literally a, a, a crescent um, of light. So I just saw that for a couple of seconds. Then then I just went home because I couldn't see the rest of the eclipse with the naked eye, and I was tired. Ooh, I almost forgot to tell you. We could also see the eclipse through rays of the sun going through the leaves. Here, for example, it's all crescents of the sun instead of just full rays of sun forming circles, which is pretty cool. So, if ever, if ever you stumble upon, just like me, if you stumble upon a solar eclipse or a partial solar eclipse in your area, which, whether it is Canada, the US, or Europe, um, or anywhere, actually, get those glasses. I knew that you could only see the eclipse through these special glasses, yet I didn't have any, uh, but they're really useful. They block out 99% of the, of the light, and it goes from, from just seeing the normal sun to literally looking at the sun being eclipsed by the moon. It's really useful, it, it, and so that you don't damage your eyes because um, that's also important. Um, but yeah, I'll be prepared for next time. Hopefully I can buy some um, before the eclipse. Something I knew since a child when I saw a documentary on solar eclipse is that there will be a full solar eclipse for 2087, I think 2087. In 2087, I'll be 87 years old and I'll be ready for the full solar eclipse over France. Um, I already took my seat in the uh, elderly home, um, the little for the, mm -hmm, you know, the eclipse. But uh, yeah, I don't know when the other eclipses, partial or total, will be all over the, the world, but I know the next one in France and I'm ready for it.
Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. It's very short, not a lot of content. But if you like these types of videos and videos about being a student in McGill in Montreal or like not being a student anymore because I graduated in Montreal doing research, uh, subscribe to the channel, watch the other videos, have a fun time on YouTube. I'll see you very soon.